Good evening. It is 11.55, uh, December the 22nd, 2018. And I'm awake because I took a nap. I fell asleep in front of the fireplace. I thought, I am so exhausted. That fire has, a, it does something to a person. It, it totally relaxes you. And But then you think, okay, I'm wide awake. Yeah, but um, it, this, it's um, these ships in the sky. All these ships in the sky right here and these right here you know when you look at these they all have I know that's kind of blurry right there but when you look at these these all have um, similar shapes they may not all be completely identical it's better if it's a small but they all have different shapes and they really all appear to be able to interlock with one another that's what they do they interlock with one another to form one great big giant ship and I think they'll form as big as a ship as they need to but these ships right here they always tend to hello Maria they always tend to come from the um, the right side of the photo and they go across the sky you know and then you have these particular ships right here these always seem to be going at an angle they're the zigzag ones and they're also the ones that are found on like when you look at Lasco C3, you see the little squiggly lines. I've seen a lot of them today. When you go look at the 24 or 48 hours of replay, you can see them like they zoom across the screen and those zigzag things. I think um, there's some zigzag things. Uh, I think there's some zigzag things that I have included in this picture. If not in this picture, I uh, included it. Well, I did in this. Uh, these right here, you can't see them very well because uh, this is all blurry or whatever. <laughs> from this uh, computer screen uh, being blown up like that. But those zigzag things, they are seen on the Lasco as well. And some are, I'm thinking, these, these zigzag things, they join together also to form one big large thing. And uh, I do think there's some type of ships. And some people think that, you know, what we're seeing are angels also up there in the sky. And I, I can't say that they are, aren't. Although they do look like ships to me. Good good evening, Patty. Uh, it's nice to see you on here. Maybe you took a nap and you're wide awake too. <laughs> like me. Uh, it would be cool to get a telescope. Gary uh, Kopetz, uh, I wouldn't even attempt it with a telescope because I think I'm using the instrument that I personally am supposed to be using. Now, there may be other people who have a telescope and... Uh, they could probably get images of this if that's what they're supposed to use. But I, I really do feel like uh, my iPhone 8 and what I'm using is the thing that I am supposed to be using right now. Because um, I'm able to get these images. And with the telescope, I think um, I would not have a super wide angle view of the sky. But that's just me. You know, someone else may try to use a... Uh, telescope and they probably are using a telescope and they're getting super clear images of what I'm getting so mine are probably nothing in comparison to someone who has a high-powered telescope or high-definition camera they are probably getting much 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 better images than uh, what you're seeing on my page because you know these aren't really good detail like this and if you got that high-powered telescope there's people out there who probably have them and they're getting these ships and you're seeing complete detail on them. Yeah, so to those people who have their high powered telescopes and their high, uh, high tech cameras and you're getting extreme detail of these types of ships, kudos to you. And you know, you need to be sharing them with us. And if you're all viewing this video and you know people who have these high powered telescopes and they're getting these images and you've seen them on the YouTube, or across the uh, world on some other pages you need to uh, share that with these people right here and me because we'd like to see them too. see these uh, things close up and in number like uh, we've been catching because that would be really really nice it would uh, hello Maria good morning Elvira Van Hoof Elvira is it a morning over there where you're at yeah hello Lisa Williams hola uh, Joa Grande I'm uh, Mike Azura, hello. Hello, Esther Bushman. Hola, M Miguel Gomez. Uh, 
uh, Darren Efrain de la Rosa. Hello to Laredo, Texas. I used to live in Texas, San Angelo, but only for a brief period of time, maybe around six months or so, but that's okay. Yeah. Good morning, uh, Sullivan Gee. Good morning, Simon Marucci from Israel. Good morning to you. Hello, Miguel, Angel, Angel, <laughs> uh, Rachel. Good night, Eduardo Carrillo. Six o'clock in the morning. I used to be a morning person. I used to get up at 4 a.m. in the mornings. I loved the mornings. Yeah, now I'm a night person. <laughs> um, you're very welcome, Rebecca. Good morning, Ann Hughes. Hughes in Liverpool, England. That's early. You could be sitting there having a cup of coffee. If I had a cup of coffee right now, I wouldn't even be going to sleep. <laughs> I'd be staying up uh, to the wee hours of the morning. It has now clicked into 12-23-2018. Hello, Ronaldo. Uh, Isaac Ramirez. Hola. Veronica, hello. Yeah. Evara Van Hoof. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I know there's a, a lag in the video. And, um, yeah, it would be... Uh, I'd like to see some high-powered telescopes with these images. It'd be great if there's any out there that are circulating on the web. I think uh, there are some who think that there probably are some high-powered telescopes with uh, high-powered cameras connected that are getting clear, clearer images of these, and I would like to see them. I really would to see them up in detail other than what I'm getting and what NASA's getting. Hello, um, Miguel Angel. Hello, TK, Queensland, Australia. Veronica, you are from Chicago. Yeah, I've got I've got night night owls on here and very wee hours of the morning people on here. So that's um is really neat. Today was a kind of relaxing day. I, I took a tad bit of time off. You know, I had to go out there and I took more pictures. And you know what? <laughs> there was so many ships, and I thought I don't want to bring out any more ships because they're the last set of photos I took. I think it was on um, the late afternoon or something, and those ships are just, they're all up there in the sky, and you know, it, it could be never ending, <laughs> it really could, uh, all these ships up there. Hello, Alejandro Luna, Luna from uh, Arizona. You know, Arizona, isn't that where the Lucifer Telescope's at, that the, um, the uh, Vatican has? I think so. Hello, Donna Lynn. It's nice to have you on here. Uh, the, la the plan is going on as scheduled. Well, I guess we'll find out what the plan is. We really will. But um, I do believe that all the ships that we're seeing these kind up here like that and even the the squiggly kind like this i do believe that they all they all have um they all have the ability to interlock and become bigger ships and they can combine into one great big old <laughs> mothership and i'm sure they travel in like the, a separate big old mothership like those great big disc or something or they yeah but yeah, they, that's what I think they do. They uh, band together. More, more power. More firepower. Maybe they travel across the universe in one big old uh, string of ships that are connected. Rebecca, what do you speculate is happening? Do you think this closure is coming soon? Uh, that is hard to speculate. I'm not one to speculate. <laughs> I really am. Am not. I, I don't even like to put time frames on anything because um, 
when you do speculate and you put time frames on things and it doesn't come to pass, well, that doesn't make you look too um, <laughs> uh, too good, uh, even though you do it in good faith, thinking, you know, there's something that's going to happen. I mean, we all know something's going to happen, but we really, we don't know the time or the place or the circumstances that are going to bring about um, this event. Um, Andre, greetings. Hola, Angelica. Coahila, Mexico, Mexico. Hello, Catherine, from Oregon. You're over there on the West Coast, way up there. Hello, Ada, Conjuice. Uh, <laughs> Catherine, you didn't really uh, miss much. I was, I was talking about these ships. Oh, now this is a video lag. You're going to have a lag in it. How? Um, it looks pretty evident that these ships have the ability to interlock with one another and combine. You know, they can stack up on one another and make one great big larger ship, I guess, for more fire power if they're using their guns and lasers and whatever else that they're using up there. It, it, the long ones like like that and even the, the zigzaggy ones that are down here that like go at an angle right here. But there, there really are so many. There really are. Even these yeah, they're all different. They're all different sizes. They're all different sizes and shapes. And they're up there in that sky. And then you know you you've got to think. Well, probably perhaps there's at least three different uh, types up there uh, from I don't know species or something. We they could even be some of our ships up there. Our space our space force. A molecular, a bonded caravan of vehicles. Yeah, it could be. Rahab, Rahab, Rahabi. Catherine Lewin, I bet it's really cold there. Hello, Maria Williams. Hello from across the river. Well, that across the river, Carol, it was probably in Kentucky. Hello, Diana. Yeah, they, they probably have always been there. And um, now we're seeing them. Well, now we're looking, <laughs> and I think there's been people who, who have seen them and they've um, gotten pictures of them before, but they did not have the capability like we do now to uh, generate images across the social media platforms all around the world. That's good. It's good. It's for a good thing. The internet's good, and it's used for good and it's used for bad. But uh, that's how some people use it. But that's all right. Um, thank you, Carlene. Uh, God bless you, too, and um, <laughs> I hope you have a Merry Christmas. You live as if it could end tomorrow, so I live hard. Andre, um, yeah. Hello, Susan A. E. B. from Monterey, Mexico. Reminds me of the Monterey Peninsula in California. Where I used to live. Hello, Tony. Yeah, some of them do have like a shape like a helicopter. Remember last year, they the song in the sky of the woman on the heaven that is on the revelation. Yeah, I I remember uh, reading about that. Catherine Lewin. I, I do believe that they know that we see them <laughs> because really they're up there looking down on us and they are, um, I believe their intelligence is much higher than us, way far advanced in their technology, so I'm sure they know. Uh, otherwise, I would not be able to get a picture of them. And you know, I cannot, I tried today and I tried to take a picture in the sky without my flash on, and uh, they don't show up. They only show up for me if I have my flash on in my camera. Somehow, somehow that uh, 
uh, triggers it. I guess it makes that connection. And I know I have mentioned before that sometimes when I'm taking my picture, um, the back end of my flashlight on my phone, it automatically, I see beautiful hearts just floating up the screen like that. The flashlight on my phone also comes on at the same time. And I've tried to replicate that on my own and it is not happening. So I don't know why that happens, but it does come on. My flashlight comes on as I take the picture. That's uh, aside from my flash too. I guess it, maybe it's just the flashlight part that comes on. It's weird, it's so weird, but that's okay. Hello, a Sharon Roberts. Yeah. Mufon has posted the exact same ships. You should probably um, share some if you have some images here because I don't go to any Mufon sites. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, Helen, a uh, ship that came down. And they likened it to blocks, almost like Lego. Yeah, they do kind of look like Legos. The ships, they seem to be out there waiting. They really do. You could probably liken them to <laughs> us in our houses like we're stationary right now. But yet their ships are up there in the sky and it looks like they're just sitting still in stasis. Well, if there's uh, <laughs> and, and no gravity in space, or I guess they could just be sitting up there. That's okay, Catherine. I'm not very familiar. I'm not familiar with this uh, Tony with the airport in England that was shut down. And if if there was one shut down, I don't know. There probably was like UFOs up there. We'll we won't get the the full truth. Hello, Charlie. Sinton, we lame deer. That could be true, Catherine. Maybe they are using me to get the message out with um, these images. <laughs> uh, I do seem to be quite dedicated to doing it. I really do. It's like a passion inside of me to try to get these uh, images out. Well, really, there's there's no trying. All I have to do is just go out there and take the picture and then um, bring the images out and post them. Yeah, in, in the Book of Enoch with the angels, and I'm sure they are humongous. I thought there was something about, like, one angel. He put his foot on the the uh, earth and the other on the water or something is stood there yeah went on one one foot on the sea and one foot on the land and that's humongous that is humongous is the portal still in my backyard uh, alexandra yes it is and it only appears when i'm in a certain frame of mind then it will appear. It, it very well could be another dimension. I wouldn't say that it isn't. Hello, Bonnie Vaughn. Did I show the ship or the airplane like photo? No, I didn't show it yet, but yeah, every time I showed it, it would cut me off two times. I might be able to show it <laughs> now again up there in the sky, but it is pretty neat. You know, I, I really do like these images. They're very, um, they're very beautiful. They really are. I love the colors in them. 
right there and they are pretty impressive ships even these ships right here I believe they have the ability to interlock with one another also and it does seem like these these ships do travel they come in and out of these big old orbs right there Alpha Omega well, I guess if I could teleport, I would come over there and I'd have some coffee. <laughs> I really would. I'm sure the technology exists like in uh, Star Trek and stuff. Um, I'm going to get to that. You know, I, I <laughs> this right here, this silver disc still amazes me. How it is just popped right out like that. It really does. Catherine, Catherine, they do look like battleships up there. I'm not going to deny it. It really does. I guess you have to show uh, your uh, firepower, your air power, you know, if you're an army up there in the sky. Uh, Rebecca Masters, I've been asked that before. Would you ever consider creating a Facebook group so people could discuss the photos? Uh, yes, I have thought about that, but I wouldn't be in it <laughs> because I don't have time to get on the Facebook really and answer the questions or even look at it with um, my work schedule. And I only have a few hours that I'm home because that would require a lot of dedication and I'd have to be a stay-at-home person. And that would have to be my job to where I could um, uh, interact throughout the day on a social media thing and I just that's not me but then if you have only a special group then um, if I had a special group and then I had this Facebook page right here and um, there's no way <laughs> I could not I can't keep up with it I can't I really can't keep up with all of that that would be adding more plus I got that YouTube page where I try to uh, make sure I Lay, uh, load the latest photos into a video for the people on YouTube to see also and I also put a link on here to the Facebook page for them to see the actual photos so yeah but but that's okay you know it's, it's a good question but at this period of time in my life um, no I'm, I'm not gonna do that <laughs> yeah Patty, that is true. You know, we are being desensitized now for when the meaning of the government rebuild them. We may or may not be shocked. That's true because there is like a lot of propaganda that goes on in the media for different uh, areas and it does desensitize us to certain things in life so we're not so shocked. And I am not a sensationalist. I'm not um, a gloom and doomer person and a fear instilling individual I just take these pictures I put them out there for people to view and to share with uh, good intentions I do because I do want people to know what's up there in the sky I think if um if it's given freely to me it should be given freely to others also it really is it's, it is a gift from above it is and uh, I think we should share this gift <laughs> I do Otherwise, I wouldn't be sharing it. Bobby Allen, riding live. Um, Bobby Allen, we're just talking about these um, ships up here in the sky that they appear to interlock with one another, the several groups of them to form one big gigantic ship and they could travel I guess across the universe or the vastness of space in one great big old woo, interlinked um, vehicle. Oh no, no one, no one's hassling me or nothing at all. No one. Oh yeah, I've been trying to get to this picture of this airplane that I took uh, on my way home at night one night because I got cut off the last time. You're on your cell now. Oh, if I haven't seen the movie Jumper or Battleship, it might be a good choice. Well, if I could sit down and watch a movie long enough, it, it, <laughs> I don't like to sit down and watch a movie that long. I really don't. Um, 
Yeah, this is like, I was trying to get to this photo right here of this airplane in the sky that I was looking because it looks strange. So I took it uh, as I was going down the road. And this right here only appeared in one frame of, I think, 20 frames, this clear image right there. And that clearly isn't an airplane right there. It looks like a, it's something not of this world that we know, but it is in this world or otherwise would not have been able to catch it right there. And I'm, I'm sure other people have caught these things like this also, but uh, yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was pretty amazing. And I always think about it on my way home or outside, if I could get a good image of one of those, I'll get it. I'd like to get it, I really do. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, Margaret. Yeah. And um, I know you all seen these cloud ships. If you all haven't looked in the comment sections, I don't really get much chance to look in them, but you know, these are like cloud ships right here. And you know when you see these ships right here, also, you know, when you see those the sky and it's full of these like bubbles, they look like big old bubbles all in the sky and people give it a, a certain cloud name. I don't know what it is, but you know, I think there's more to it. I think there's something up there making those bubbles up there in the sky. Yeah. Alpha Omega 8-8. Look up Dijin YouTube. Yeah, there's a lot of people on YouTube, and I, I really admit I haven't, I don't really go to people's YouTube channels. I don't, because my time is, uh, I, I do put a lot of time in taking, I don't take put a lot of time when I take the photo because it just takes a matter of seconds. But when I sit there, I want to see all the images. That takes a, quite a bit of time and dedication. So it doesn't really leave me much time to uh, get here on the Facebook and look at comments or go to YouTube and look at other people's things. Um, do I take pictures of the moon? Uh, I used to take pictures of the moon. I really don't anymore. Nibiru is here. I guess we'll see if Nibiru is here. We'll start seeing the effects of Nibiru. Hello, Gregory. Forty hertz frequency. Buongiorno, Cindy Spagnoli. Yeah, I saw um, I saw on the little uh, news feed that there was like a cracker, oh, what's that, <laughs> volcano in Indonesia that erupted and then uh, they had a rising of the sea level and some people had uh, died due to it, to the tsunami. And I, I think I remember back, it was like 04 or something. I don't know when it was, when Indonesia had it. Uh, a, a mag, uh, like a 9.0 magnitude earthquake, and I think hundreds of thousands of people died in it. It was on the 26th of December, so that was kind of sad. Oh, crack a pot, cracker, cracker something <laughs> in Indonesia. Good night, Jack Anderson. Take the right side is amazing. You will not see the images on the internet. Hmm. You have a, a great night too, Bobby Allen. <laughs> Martin Bell, I'm the bike gonna be writing Gina a check. <laughs> You know that Facebook limits my um, my uh, notifications for my live videos and uh, for the things I post. I guess I could go on and get a business page. 
I probably would have less restrictions on it but then I have all these people on this page that I'm on this Facebook page so um, I, I'm not so sure if I want to open up another Facebook page because I don't know if the people from this particular Facebook page that I'm on would make it to another Facebook page I really don't Oh, 2010 TK was the Indonesia one. Okay. Yeah, um, Krakatoa. That's right. Thank you, TK. I know this is Kraka something. <laughs> uh, Charles, I don't have any uh, pictures of Nibiru. Sometimes I would get uh, images in the infrared. Uh, Marilyn, not like last night when me and my daughter went to town, I was, was going, I live out in the country and there was this big old bright blue light up in the sky. And I said, hmm, I see that up there. And then you know what? <laughs> Within a second, it was gone. So yeah, and there are lights, you'll see them and they'll blink and they'll be gone. You won't see no more of them. And I, I think, okay, that's a UFO up there in the sky because we all know that there are there are ufos up there there really are oh my goodness yeah it's 12 it's 12 27 a.m is what time it is right now good night a one carlos Lots of magnetosphere disturbances. I haven't looked at the uh, magnetos magnetosphere lately. Martin Bell, as soon as you joined, you was immediately kicked off. As soon as you typed you a message, I believe it. <laughs> That's not very nice, but it does happen. It really does. That's why I think um, I'm being restricted. That's why I have to try to uh, transition over uh, to YouTube more and more, is what I have to do. Because I, I do have a YouTube page. The blast was 55,000 feet from Krakatoa. Hmm. Good night, Erna Martinez. Thank you, uh, Adriana. Yeah, and if you're all looking at this, I do have a, a YouTube page. 